How's everybody doing? God bless. I hope everybody's doing well. This is the date for the red heifer sacrifice. As most people know, they uh, bought some land, the Sanhedrin, bought some land right next to the Temple Mount. They have a tent. They have it all ready to go. And uh, they are waiting for the date. As most people know, they do things according to the Bible, the, the Torah. They do things according to the Torah. And uh, the red heifers are getting uh, up there in age. They have to do this very soon. And their date right here, this is their date. It's the 29th or the 30th. Right there by nightfall, this is when they have to do it. And as it says right here, the Sabbat, this is what it is. I'm not going to, that's what it's called, the Sabbath of the Red Heifer. It takes place on the Sabbath before. And as you can see right here, here's their calendar. Here's their calendar, and it's highlighted right here, the 29th and the 30th. Also, I wanted to talk about this. Stephanie brought this to my attention, and this is huge. Both of these are huge. Thank you, Stephanie. From New York to Nairobi, Kenya, and it had people questioning why exactly they are doing this. Let's look at this from the Kenyan point of view. Kenyans were asking, why do you need to relocate? This is, by the way, it's reported that this is a mass relocation. Let me read for you what Pulse Life Kenya reported. They wrote this strategic move aiming to place the agency closer to the communities it serves has sparked concerns among many of the affected employees. About a quarter of the staff in the New York office will be affected. A quarter of the staff that is based in New York is going to be relocating to Nairobi. People are questioning. Let's not even get into what exactly they're doing. Thank you, here, Stephanie. What this exactly is huge. They want to be because, according to their reports, they want to be closer to the people they want to serve. Right. So we'll get into that in a little bit. But I want to talk about how much this is going to impact the Kenyans on the ground. Kenyans that are looking for a job. Kenyans that are going to be affected because of this when it comes to gentrification. As you know, whenever expats or foreigners are sent to countries like African countries, they are going to put them in areas or place them in areas where they think are the safest or they think they're going to be easier. They're going to have access to more things, right? So this has caused a lot. I'm going to talk about this at my live on Monday. I'll be live Monday night. Three days of praise and worship, as I have been talking about. Three days of praise and worship. Thank you, Stephanie. This is huge. I've said this all along. I've said this with uh, my other videos. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, thanks a lot like I do. You do not burn down a house unless you have plans to take your, your goods someplace else. You do not burn down a house unless you have another house ready to go. They are going to burn down the house. New York's, the United Nations headquarters, is no longer going to be in New York. I've talked about it before. The Antichrist returns to his own land. The Antichrist returns to his own land. He shall return to his land with great riches, and his heart shall be against the Holy Covenant, and he do exploits and return to his own land. He's going to be working out of the United Nations headquarters in Kenya. Kenya, the king of the south, he's from south of Israel. The king of the south returns to his own land with great riches. Also, our uh, B-52 bombers, as I have talked about before, are stationed in Australia. Why in Australia? Because when they burn down the house, the United Nations headquarters, all of our military is going to return. They're going to be over in Kenya, South, uh, Australia, the continent of Africa. 
Daniel, it even talks about the continent of Africa. It says, I've showed this before, Ethiopia is at his footsteps. If Ethiopia is at his footsteps, he's in the continent of Africa. I've talked about that before. And at, you would think that something would be going on in Africa right now. Yes, it is. Right here, they're doing a drill. As you can see right here, as people are moving there, what is going on with AFRICOM. AFRICOM, U.S. African Command, that's what it's called, AFRICOM. Right now, they're doing one of their biggest drills. It's called Justified Accord, the largest military exercise in East Africa, Kenya, is currently underway, running from February 26 to March March 7, 2024, 20, 20, is a multi-national um, maneuver. This is with NATO already. Why they are showing you stuff going on over here, they are doing stuff over there. Through a collaboration with shared ex exercise with U.S. Army Southern European Task Force, Africa also. This is personnel units from 23 nations. This is with the United Nations. So they are also doing a drill right now when these people are setting up going to Kenya. This is what they're doing. Kenya, the Afri African continent, will be spared. And this is exactly what's going on. This is south, e south of uh, 23 nations. As we know, when the United States is gone, United Nations will take over with NATO nations, as it says right here, with 23 nations. This is going on right now. This is an exercise right now, justified, justified, very interesting that it's called Justified Accord. 2024, African Command, this exercise is going on now. Here's jobs. It's called Two Lane Highway, Global Economic. They're they're looking for people with for jobs at the United Nations headquarters, right here. Says Kenyan, right here. Mass relocation of the United Nations because it's getting ready to be blown up. They're shipping all these people here. They're they're shipping people to the United States because they're going to burn it down and they're going to leave. As I said before, these uh, um, people they're sending here and opening our borders is just to die. And they are, they are moving out, as you can see right here, mass relocation. They are moving out as everything happens here.